Hi, my name is Alexis Hernandez and I'm the Virtual Content Specialist for Social Studies grades K through 2 Special Ed. This is going to be a student facing video that will help students learn how to use the features of Book Creator, which is an application or a website that they can use to make digital books. Hi guys. I'm really excited today because we're going to learn about a new website or app that you can download on your iPad where you can make brand new, amazing digital books all by yourself. And this app or website is called Book Creator, which makes sense because you're getting to create your own book. So watch this video closely so you can see how you might use Book Creator all by yourself at home. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my browser and I'm gonna type in Book Creator into my search to find the website, Book Creator. And you'll notice that the website is bookcreator.com. I click there and here we are. Now, if you're downloading this app on your iPad or your tablet, all you'll do is search book creator and you'll see the little icon looks like this little rainbow book with the scissors, okay? So you can use this on a website, on a laptop or a desktop or on your iPad or tablet at home, okay? now. Your teacher might have a book creator account and they might give you login information. Or maybe you just want to sign up for a free account using your own login information. Either way, you can access this site. If your teacher gives you your information, you log in using that. If you want to make your own, you just click on create a free account and you'll put your email and a password in. Now this book creator is linked to my account. So I'm gonna show you how to use book creator using some of um, the features that this website has. And I'll show you through my account, but yours will look just like this. So the first thing about book creator is that all of your books get stored in libraries, like real books. And you can make libraries for yourself if you want to sort your books by category, or maybe you can sort your groups by individual projects or group projects. I have one library here called 201 because that's my class name. And so all of the books that 201 makes will go into this library. You can make as many libraries as you want. I'm just gonna show you the books in 201. Here's a few of them right here, and they'll all get stored here. But let's talk about how to make a new book. You're going to click on the plus sign that says new book, and you'll see all of the different templates pop up. We're going to see that you can have a, a comic book, you can have a square comic book, you can have a regular portrait book, a landscape, you can pick whichever you want. I'll just pick a landscape just for today. And the first page is your cover. But how do we get to start making our book and adding features? Well, watch closely. If you click on the plus sign, all of your features pop up. You can do so many things here. You can import pictures. You can import different stuff from your computer. You can use the camera to take still pictures or record yourself. You can use a pen to draw and write. You can type and add text, and you can even add voice recordings. So let's get started and check some of these features out. I'm gonna start with maybe text. The front cover of my book will probably have the title. So maybe this title of my book will be Classroom Helpers, because maybe I'm making a book all about classroom helpers for social studies. And I wanna share it with my friends in my class and my teacher. So I'm gonna call it Classroom Helpers by Alexis. 
I can turn this bold, I can italicize it, or just keep it normal. And when I'm finished, I press done. And then I can move it around anywhere I choose. Classroom helpers by Alexis. I just added text, but let's check out some more features. Let's try out the pen. Here I can choose a paintbrush, a pen, a crayon, a fine tip pen, or the auto where it will give me some shapes and drawings. I can change up the color. I can change up the size of the tip and that will help me stay nice and neat with my drawings. So let's just use the pen. Let's use this large size and let's make it maybe this nice greenish color and let's give it a try. It's black actually. Classroom helpers, and I'm gonna say two, oh, one. Awesome. If I want to erase anything, I can click on the eraser and erase my work and redo it if I wanted. I can keep drawing by going back to the pen and adding more. I can click on the color to change up the color. And I can continue to play around with the pen and paintbrush, the colors and the eraser. If I wanna fill, I can click on the paint bucket and the color and it will fill that with the color. If I want to undo it, I just click on undo. So now we just checked out some of the features of the pen and the paintbrush. There's also some cool emojis and clip art here that you can add in, which are super fun, but there's even more. When I'm done with the cover, I click on done and then I scroll through to go to the next page. And let's see what other features I can use on my next page of my book. We already checked out the pen. Let's try out the camera. It's really cool. If I click on the camera, I have a few options here. I can take a still picture up here, or I can record a video and import it onto this page. Let me show you how I would do that. In class 201, there are lots of classroom jobs. I clicked on record, said what I wanted to record, and then I press stop. And now here's my recording. It lets me watch it again to make sure I like it. And if I approve it, I click on use video. It uploads onto the page and you'll see my video will be on the page in a moment. There's the video that I just recorded. Now, maybe I wanna add text to that. So there's video and text. And I'll write the same thing I just said in my video. In class 201, there are lots of classroom jobs. Done. Move it down. And now this page has a recorded video and text. So cool. Let's scroll to the next page. On the next page, let's check out another feature. Maybe we can use the recording. Here, you'll record, but you won't have the camera. So it will just be a voice recording. Let's try it. The line leader is one classroom job. Again, I can preview it and approve it. Here's my recording right here in the center. It's uploaded to the page and now I can hear a voice recording. And again, I can add more text to it. The line leader is one classroom job.
insert it in, and there it is. Now, you could also import files from your Google Drive, images you might have on your computer, files you might have on your computer, or links that you want to embed. You can also add shapes that they have here as a template, and you can even search for other ones that might be more specific. And so these are all of the features that you can use when you're creating a book on Book Creator. But now, what do I do when I'm finished with my book? Well, one thing that you can do is preview your book and press play and you can scroll through it and you can have it read to you from the beginning so that you see how you like it. Classroom Helpers by Lexus. In class 201, there are lots of classroom jobs. In class 201, there are lots of classroom jobs. You'll see how the read to me version reads the whole book to you. It's so cool. Finally, when you're done with the book, you're going to see that you can click on this little um, symbol that looks like the less than sign with the little dots on it and you'll have three options. The first option is to publish the book online, to download it as an ebook, or to print it out. Now, obviously, if you print it, you won't be able to click on the recordings and hear it, but publishing online is a great option. What you do is click on publish online and you title your book, Classroom Jobs in 201 by whoever the author is. When you click on publish book, it says that your book has been published. And what you can do is you can read the book online and you can copy the link to your clipboard so that you can send that link to your classmates, to your teachers, and they can have access to the book as well. Once anyone has that link, they are able to open the book and read it, whether they have a login or not, okay? So you will see that there's so many features to use in Book Creator. And if you wanna make a digital book, you can go to bookcreator.com and you can try to check out all of those different features to create a book. This is really great to use for maybe a final project. Maybe you wanna show your teacher your learning by creating a book. Maybe you wanna collaborate with others and make a book together. This is a great, way to show all of the things that you've learned in a really creative and fun way. So I hope that you'll check out Book Creator and make a digital book for yourself. Have fun.